What's up my fellow lively lithium laced lobotomies? Today we are back with the vengeful villains are destined to die experience. I just kind of covered my face with that shit, but you know, that's how it be. We're just going to jump right into it. I was going to talk for a bit because I, I like to talk, but fuck that. We're just going to jump into it. Let's go. I haven't seen what he's like in hard mode, but my greatest chance of survival lives with him now. Eccles. Because I kept getting stuck with what information I do to process is limited. Even if I had a lot more, there's not, not much telling of how the original system applies to the lived reality of this place. Only two things are certain in life. Death and taxes. But in this game, I can't let any of the affection drop, no matter what, into the negatives. I have to achieve someone's ending before Penelope coming of age ceremony. Before Penelope's coming of age ceremony. So, like, the main homie in the, the games isn't even of age. She's, like, 17, but she's dating, like, 24-year-olds. I, I knew these dudes were villain, villainous motherfuckers that just want to see the homie die. But, like, Jesus, dude, she's, like, 17. Pedos are destined to die, am I right? <laughs> Which is the same day the real MC returns. In normal mode, the story begins on the day of the event, when the Duke's daughter comes back. If you play as Penelope, the plot tackles... Wait, so... Oh, oh, so it's not the, um... So she's 17. The, the... I thought the MC was 17. She's 17. Which, okay. You know. Murdering children. You know, that's what's up, I guess. <laughs> If you play as Penelope, the plot takes a uh, place a little bit before that. Oh, so hard mode start is a little bit before normal mode start. I got it. So the coming of age ceremony is when normal mode starts. Ah, big brain. I, 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 I get use that information and put it in my brain hole. And now my brain is so full with information. It's about to explode. If I don't reach the ending by that time, the events of normal mode will unfold. Oh no! And the male leaders with their Ford fondness for Yvonne will turn on the villain. The real daughter cost the fake daughter everything all on her coming of age day. Even now, there are countless games over death traps looking around that counter. Behind that time, I have no chance. At that point, I'd practically be serving my death on a platter. Oh, that's sick. So we have, like, a time limit. Do we eventually, like, when we become of age, do we eventually get to meet the main villain or, like, the main protagonist? Main villain of this story. Main protagonist of game. Because, like, I, I wonder what she's like. Is she as pretty as the the homie? What What is she like? Is she likable? Is she actually the main villain of the story? Because that's my guess. My guess is that she's the main villain of the story. And this homie is just an innocent bystander that gets fucked by the main villain over and over again. And we only see how villainous that little Yvonne motherfucker is when we see, we see the story from this perspective of Penelope. You know what I mean? Also, sorry if I'm a little lackadaisical right now. I just woke up and was like, fuck it, let's record. I haven't even woken up. I haven't even done my morning routine. I just woke up and was like, let's record. This is a great time. And now I'm suffering the consequences of that. So if you think I'm a little eepy looking, it's because I'm an eepy motherfucker right now, boys. I won't let that happen. Right. I finally messaged to, to slip free of my own damned family. Oh, I only managed to slip free my own damn family recently, only for me to meet my end of some shitty game. I refuse to die. Villains are refusing to die. I'll take whatever it takes to survive. I'll definitely make it back to my own world, without a doubt, clench. Yo, look at how determined the homie is. You gotta appreciate that. She's a determined motherfucker. I like her character so far. She's a dope-ass character, like... I appreciate this story so far. It's so fun. We're going to meet some villainous boys, a, 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 a very cool villain, and a dickish protagonist. I, I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Miss. Miss. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's going to see my hentai bag. He's going to see my hentai mags. The Grace. The Duke has requested your presence. Did he just? Oh, shit. 
the Duke dick is coming here. What? What had Butler would just enter the employer's daughter's door without waiting for an answer? Even at my old mister's previous home, th it was never this rude. What, what should I do? Pitch a fit? Right. I can't even throw a fit in the manner if I'd like to. You want to die? Hurl an obstacle at them. T tell them to come here, then. Very well. I need to find a way to get rid of these goddamn prompts. There. There was an option. Wasn't there? Very well. How lucky. With the Duke looking for me, I've gained a chance. Oh, look at the fit. Look at the fit. Hold up. That dress goes hard, dude. That dress? I, I fuck with that dress. I want that dress. I look so sexy. I look so pretty like in that dress. Just imagine me. Little princess Atlas. I look so sexy, boys. I look so pretty. <laughs> father. Father. Father, here. Look at this, please. I've been accepted. They accepted me, father. Yes. And you didn't just come in here to let me know that, did you? Please. M let me out. Please. Let me move out. I want to live on my own. I want my own campus. I want to devote myself to my own studies. I don't think I'm asking for too much. Live on your own, you say. Very well. I'll get things arranged. So the end is finally here. I didn't work like a dog and get into a pre prestigious university to impress my own family. I did it to get away from them and out of their damned prison of a house. Because I'd be an idiot to seek love and attention from people who treat me no more than a pet. Sometimes even worse than a pet. Oh, look at how aesthetic this is. Oh, it's so aesthetic. Glance. Whispers, 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 whispers. These whispers and stares. They're nothing new. You guys, darling. Reporting, sir. Is your butler. Head butler. Knock, knock, knock. I've come with Miss Penelope, sir. Send her in. Creak. Oh, look at how beautiful. Uh, just look at how pretty this looks. Like, look at that. It's such a the, just good artwork. You gotta. You know? You just gotta. <laughs> Are you coming in? Bow. Uh, may I ask why you summoned me? Can you get straight to the point? Maintain and contact wordlessly. Uh, may I ask why you summoned me? I heard there was something of a commotion this morning. Hmm. Uh, it was nothing, Your Grace. Uh, pay no mind to that. I'm sure you'd like that to be true. It was all that idiotic maid's fault. Sing this choices again. Would anyone look kindly on a charge who says such rude things? What was I even thinking choosing two when I was playing? If Penelope just had her tresses or eyes the same color as the Duke's biological daughter... I'd hope he might show a wisp of mercy. Out there, these three options, it had to be. Hmm. Uh, please. I just have to get past this little crisis. Please, don't be the choice that leads to my death. Uh, I, it, it's not, it's nothing, Your Grace. Pay, pay no mind, any, no need, no, pay any mind. Penelope, it has already been six years since you entered this house. Six years, true. Both the main characters were 18. Penelope got adopted at 12, so... Wait! The second coming of age in this world happens on your 18th birthday, right? Oh, shit. So how much time do I have left until the real daughter returns? Perhaps you are unaware. But it's no small matter for any of... But it's no small matter for any of to set foot in this manner. Only those who are thoroughly proved their usefulness may pass through that card's gate. Oh. This is the guy. Only those who thoroughly prove their usefulness may pass through that card's gate. I have not spared in providing for you, for you since your adoption. I wholly indulge your extravagances, regard how absurd they were. Huh. However, after these six years' time, I cannot say I've seen what worth you bring to our noble name. Just a little more. Come on. What do you plan to do? Drive me out? But I've done nothing wrong. Fault you to your knees. It's all my fault, father. Vault to your knees. Finally! What's this? Man, this game has a ton of features in the apps like back in those days. Sounds kind of interesting, but can I keep 
the setting off? I mean, it's hard enough as it is. Maybe I'll turn it on later. Hmm. Dud. Uh, what are, exactly are you doing? It's all my fault. Father, it's all my fault. Did you just just call me father? Flash, hidden quest complete. The forgotten word, father. Ding! Turn off multiple choice answers. Yes, no. Oh, shit. We could just have one choice? That's a lot easier than three whole choices. With multiple choice answers turned off, you can more freely engage with the game. You may answer however you wish. This is recommended for players who want to ex a more immersive gameplay. Oh, so we get like we get to say words that we actually think of with our brain and like type them out and stuff, you know, which is good because up until now she's only had like three options to say words, you know, and then she could only say those three words or those three options. Now she could have like a little prompt to be like, he -he -he. she's a little discard mod typing at her computer like, he -he -he. I ignored the option back then, but if I'm correct, this function, F father. Is my key to survival in this world. Uh, I can do it. I can move my mouth and my body without that selection screen. Never being able to speak my mind, this could be satisfying. I caused a disturbance while under probation. I apologize. And falling to comfort myself in proper presence of a subordinate, I disrupted everyone. I shall deeply reject my actions. The thought of a reminder of my silence. Or sentence. Y you the disturbance this morning was in no way my fault. I was the victim. But considering how the villain Penelope has acted up until this point, that's irrelevant. Any obs obstinance will do harm. Humble obedience is my only chance of survival. Squeeze. I've long behaved arrogantly and childishly. I know. But if you overlook this incident, I swear, I will strive. I will prove to be worthy of a... Uh, the coming of age ceremony. So please, just once more, Father. Please, forgive me, Father. Uh, there it is. Well enough. Stand up. The words of an Eckhart carry weight, Penelope. Do not squander the opportunity you are being granted today. I won't. I promise. Thank you, Father. Creek. And with that, I'm going to end it here. Hey, boys. If you like this silly little episode of Villains Are Destined to Die, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll come at you some with some more of this shit and some other shit eventually sometime soon, hopefully, if I don't fuck up my schedule. Um, so if you liked this silly little reading of the Villains Are Destined to Die manga, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and if you didn't, fuck out yourself. Go, just, just go fuck yourself. There's a corner right there. There's a corner. Perfect place to fuck yourself. I do it all night into the thought of your demise. So, if you are so inclined, go there. If not, thank you for watching. I appreciate y'all being here. And I'll see you next time, boys. Bye-bye.